Tonight's top EU stories from the unit website include EU prompts overhaul of airline passenger rights, European Union backtracks on monopoly curb of the big four accounting auditors, EU approves gender equality but porn remains controversial. Dr Eric Edmund gives us his insightful view on the sinking of Cyprus and EU and IMF have already proposed similar haircut levies on Spain and Italy. I'm Rick Timmis and this is the unit Nightly News. First, from our homepage, I refer you back to earlier in the year when we reported in our legislation section about the EU Council reviews over airlines, reports over flight crew, work times and passenger scheduling, as well as possible compensation schemes. You will find these articles most easily using the search facility just below the menu on the left hand side of the page on our website. Now we have legislation going through to enactment. This article looks at and highlights a definitive set of rules that place deeper and more specific restrictions on the airline operators and will be relevant to anyone and everyone using these services. Links to the article are below. This article won't please struggling businesses. European Union lawmakers have voted to undo a reform that was designed to end the dominance of the big four accounting firms. The draft EU law aims to make auditors, a sector dominated by KPMG, Deloitte, PricewaterhouseCooper and Ernst & Young, more sceptical about what clients tell them, and end decades-long cosy relationships blamed for making weaknesses later exposed by the financial crisis. In my experience, there is a strangling mafia-style cartel that operates between the auditors and the banks, and I have first-hand experience of banks using lending policy to freeze cash flow in a business and then to insist on expensive internal audits by these firms that charge exorbitant fees. Sadly, once again, this is a win for the banksters and globalists who spend vast sums lobbying our Bruswellian kleptocrats. Further reporting on the gender equality proposal and, of course, the controversial ban on pornography. Personally, I think as a society there should be a total review of watershed policy, advertising standards and pornography. However, of much greater importance is your point of view. And today I am very pleased to have a very interesting video response that was sent to us via YouTube by Sharon Bainbridge. Links to the gender equality article and Sharon's video responses are below. Dr Eric Edmonds writes again with a brilliant piece on the kleptocrats' bungled burglary of the people's savings accounts in Cyprus. Eric points out the elephant in the room, which is the large sums held on deposit in Cyprus by Russian businesses. As Eric puts it, there is also the question of the promised Russian loan, which may, may not now materialise. The Russians have been big players in Cyprus in recent years, something the EU ruling Franco-Prussian elite resent, but the sooner they realise that Putin has the whip hand, the better. Words. The power and complexity of words. One thing I've struggled with during this economic collapse is the rhetoric and careful placement of statements and clever wording used. For example, a fiscal haircut. So what exactly might that be? Well, this article reveals the true and sinister nature of this statement. A haircut means to forcibly remove an amount of a person's hair, done usually by taking a proportion of that person's hair, cutting it away and removing it. Notice the proposed Cypriot bank job was described as a levy. But as you'll see in this article, levy and haircut are one and the same. With that discrepancy in nomenclature now resolved, it's clear to see that indeed the kleptocrats have proposed bank raids on Italy and Spain as well. Now I'll be discussing this economic bombshell and the origins of the issues on our live show, The Unit Interactive, this Friday night at 9pm GMT. Today in our video library... This interview with Patrick Young from Russia Today states with full vigour the outrageous behaviour of the Euro Bureau kleptocrats as they try to pull off the bank heist of the 21st century. That's all from me at the Unit Nightly News. 
You can get lots more news stories and information on our website, theunit.com. You can get in touch with us there, and we particularly welcome your letters and points of view. You can follow us on Twitter. Our Twitter username is the E Unit. And do remember to subscribe to our YouTube channel for all of our regular updates. You can join me and the rest of the team for interactive discussion and debate on Google Plus at any time. Now, are you looking for a public speaker for your event? Our public speakers are happy to come and discuss Britain's relationship with the EU in your area at no cost. If you would like to add interest and value to your group event, then get in touch with us via the word section of our website. Finally, of course, join us in our live question time style online show, The Unit Interactive. Broadcast live on our website, theunit.com, and globally via thehangoutshow.com. Join our community on Google Plus and you can be part of the wider public voice, united in freedom, liberty, and independence. Simply join our community, The Unit, on Google Plus. Links to the community page are below. Rick Timmis for The Unit Nightly News. I'll see you soon.